Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 27 of, uh, Let's Play Let's Go Pikachu. And we're- Oh my goodness, a Fero! I haven't caught one of those yet! Come back here! Um, <laughs> we're in a different location as you see where we left off. Oh, snap. This is cool. So anyway, as we're catching this Fero, <laughs> uh, we've, we've added to the Pokedex a bit. Uh, we've caught a few new guys and everything, and uh, we left off basically defeating Sabrina and the Psychic Gym, and we're about to head off to Cinnabar Island, but I figured we'd make a few pit stops first, and one of those pit stops, well, the Fero lets us see, it's coming up and it's kind of important, okay, I overshot that, a Pokemon that dates back many years, if it, is sen if it senses dangers, it flies high and away instantly. Okay, anyway, we're on Route 10 here, what's that? And, yeah, we have a bit of exploring to do, so I'm very excited as to uh, why we're being called to this area, but it's gonna be great. Ski Skin, I forgot that's what it's called. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Whee! Oh, Tentacool! Can we find Poliwag here? Because we gotta catch one of those too. This is amazing. This is amazing. Holy smokes. Oh, wow. Interesting. I, I, should I, should I save outside of this joint? Oh, wow, okay, it's over here. Could have sworn it was on the other side. Oh, a Thunderstone. That's very good. All right, I guess we're gonna have to fight this guy. Also, I don't know if you guys saw, but we put Bellsprout and Machop in the party for Cyberduck and uh, Blastoise. Uh, yeah, we're hopefully going to level them up, and then we could bring um, Indigo back in. Even though Indigo doesn't know an Earth-type move. I mean, Ground-type, <laughs> not Earth-type. We really need a Ground-type in this team. We really do. This Rhyhorn is reminding me. Wow, 42. Okay, you're strong. Have we caught one of those yet? I don't think so. Yeah, where, where are we going to find Lickitung? That's a good question. Oh, well, maybe, maybe in a Victory Road, maybe? It'll be a rare one? Or is this another guy found in Rock Tunnel? Okay. We just healed up Venusaur. We saved our game. Now we're about to enter. The power plant. Oh, <gasps> is that a muck? Ruby feels the tension in the air and seems a little afraid. What are you afraid about? What are you sensing? Here, we'll just feed you another banana. You got, you got a lot of these. You gotta get rid of them. Alright, let's get this muck. That's cool. I didn't I did not know muck was gonna be here. It's gonna be a good catch. Ooh, what a cool arena. Uh yeah, yeah, let's use the raspberry. Ooh, we only have 30 ultra balls. I might I might have needed to prepare a little bit better for this. I mean, what are we here? It's just an abandoned power plant. There's nothing special here, right? Wink. Come on, come on. Yes! Thank you. Woof. What a close one. Yes, give them the levels. Give them the levels. Who's learning Hydro Pump? The Chosen One? <laughs> Absolutely, get rid of Fury Swipes. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yes! Yes, this is exactly what we wanted. Thank you. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I hate that phrase. Why did I say it? Oh, and we got the leafstone on us that we bought like 
forever ago. Wonderful. When hungry, it swallows anything that moves. Its hapless prey is dis dissolved by strong acids. Oh my goodness. That sounds horrendous. A muck will be added to the Pokedex. It smells so awful <laughs> it can cause fainting. Through the generation of its nose, it lost its sense of smell. What? Wait, so Muck had a nose, or Grimer had a nose, and it de-evolved? That's quite interesting. Alright. Oh, wait, wait, we gotta evolve you, Weeping Bell, before we put you back in the box. I am so sorry. Where's that Leaf Stone at? We still got this Ice Stone. I don't know what that's gonna be used on, in all honesty. <laughs> Weeping Bell is evolving. Holy smokes! If if we were legitly training a Victory Bell, I would not recommend evolving Weeping Bell this early. I, you know, I would wait till it's like around level 45, 50. Congratulations, your Weeping Bell evolved into Victory Bell. And victory is, gonna ha is how we're going to end this episode, of course, clearly, in this mysterious power plant. It lures its prey with the sweet aroma of honey. Swallowed whole, the prey is dissolved in a day. Bones and all. Oh my god. Bones. Well, that worked out quite wonderfully. And look, a flying magnet. Even better. We're, ca we're going to be catching so much. So much stuff. Uh, no. We'll just use the great ball. What am I doing? Stay still. Stay still. Oh my god. Suck. Hello, Magnemite. Welcome to the team. Oh. Oh, you, you, you gotta be kidding me. Wow. You saw that Matrix dodge uh, Magnemite did? That was insane. Maybe we should put Magnemite in the party, too, so Magnemite can evolve. I low-key like Magnemite. Like, Magnemite is one of those weird generic ones, because, like, what is it? Trubbish and Garbodor get a lot of hate? Uh-oh. That looks dangerous. It's a good thing I have... Oh, speak of... We summoned it! I guess we're not going to have to level you up. Anyway, out of, like, the generic kind of, like... I guess those weird, these weird Pokemon that are like, you know, based off of real things, not animals, or like concept, like, I always saw Electabuzz and, oh, Electabuzz, Power Plant, and Magmar as like, the concept of electricity and fire, kind of, so, not that they're an elemental, but something to that effect, and Magmite and Magneton, I felt like, I don't know, I kind of like them, like, I don't care for Voltorb that much, I never cared for Grimer Muck, Geo Golem's awesome, but Geodude and Graveler are like eh to me. Graveler's alright. And obviously the detailing that they put into Graveler for some strange reason in this game is amazing. But it's like, out of these, these weird Pokemon, I, my favorite has to probably be Magnemite and Magneton. Oh my god. Give me a break. <gasps> I don't think we have one of you either. Is, is this the Pokedex catch an episode? Because I, I swear, like, we've just... It's been an incredible increase. Why are they getting harder to catch? <gasps> How's that not an excellent throw? Wow. I, like, that was, like, a horrible throw, and I wasn't expecting that. Grimer's data will be added to the Pokedex. Made of congealed sludge, it smells too putrid to touch. Even weeds won't grow in its path. Gross. Alright, Magneton. Please, please reappear. Um, what sound does a Magneton make? I don't know. 
Why is there a teleportation pad? Oh, what is that? Oh my god, the Voltorb scared me. I like how it rolls around like that. That's pretty funny. It makes a lot of sense that it would do that and not like hop or anything like that. Come on, Voltorb. You know you want to get in this ball. You guys really are something else today. Why did that go so crazily? Oh my god. Oh, thank goodness. Dude, we've already caught, like, what? Half a dozen new species this episode? Maybe a little bit more than that? Oh, it's said to camouflage as a Pokeball and something something. I totally skipped over that, my bad. Okay, I should stay away from these really shocking panels. Alright, this lady is here. Yeah, we'll just fight her. The abandoned power plant is the second least desired place for coach trainers to be assigned to. No matter where I am, I'm going to do my job. Where's the first least likely place? Wait a second. Number two. Dose. Zaps. It can't be related. It just can't be. Also, praise. Praise Helix. Oh my god, I'm getting a vision. Wow. What is happening? Wow, Ruby's been summoned too. <gasps> no! No, you're so strong! <laughs> Alright, Root Root. None of this, none of this. We're not having any of this. Are you an imposter? You. Oh my god, just... Weird visions. I feel like you're both a savior and a curse. Almost our error... Aerodactyl? Oh, we gotta recreate it. Are you kidding me? What do we do? <gasps> no! This was a bad idea! This was a bad idea! Oh my god, I'm terrified. It was really dumb to bring out Charizard. I wanted to recreate the episode, but it was a bad idea. Yo! Hit it! Our most powerful move! Yo! Set this place ablaze! Oh my goodness. Kaboo tops? What, what is that? What? What? Hold up! I didn't hit any buttons! Vex, what are you doing? What is, what's happening? You, why did you just come out of the Pokeball like that? What is this? Oh my goodness, this is really bad. What are you doing? Hydro Pump? What the? Holy <laughs> smokes! What is happening? Fix! What was that? What was that? Fix, you came out of left field! Dude, what? It was like you were meant to learn Hydro Pump at- Oh my goodness, what? Put the rare candies in the candy. <laughs> Vix, uh, where did that energy come from? Like, oh my goodness, all that, that weird stuff that we were feeling before is like now gone. Oh, run away, run away! That was insane! This is a maze of confusion. I'm... I'm flabbergasted. That's a, that's a real word. 
I am shocked. What about these rice bags? Oh, I like the buzz. It's tiny. Can I can I catch it with a Pokeball? Oh my god, I'm so good. I'm so good. Electabuzz, you want to join the team. We're strong. <laughs> yes! Alright, let's go. Oh, thank you. Thank you for making our lives so much easier. Yo, Machop. Come on, Machop. You know you want to evolve. You know you want to evolve. I don't know what level Machop evolves at. Electabuzz's data will be added to the Pokedex. If a major power outage occurs, it is certain that this Pokemon has eaten electricity at a power plant. Oh, you guys are just eating this place. Gross. Thought that Magnemite was a Dratini, and I'm seeing things. Wow, I am just shocked. We gotta, we gotta heal up too, by the way. Like... Vix, I am so impressed. Where did this come from? Was... Was that to make up for fighting Alakazam? Like, that was crazy. I can have a potion. So nothing around this generator, right? Dude, you you just popped out of your Pokeball like like. Oh my God, he was gonna clothesline us. Um, <laughs> like nothing. Come on, fix. I don't know why you're out here. It's very dangerous. Oh my God, run away. <laughs> We're full of electricity and like, almost drowned us. I mean, it was very impressive, but, jeez. Another one! They're everywhere! Oh, <gasps> Thunder! Not the Thunderbolt, just the Thunder! Alright, we gotta find that... What is it, Mac? It's upside down. That's... That's conspicuous. What do you think? Looks like it feels some kind of presence. Okay. Is it the same one I felt earlier? There's like a bunch of presences happening now. Ruby said she she felt something when we came in. Then the Oma Star appeared and it gave us some kind of weird energy. And then then that thing that you destroyed. Oh, the Magneton! And that now you're feeling another. Now you're feeling it too. I don't know if we should have came in here, man. I I I just wanted to come into this power plant and investigate it because we finally had access to Surf. Swift skim. Jesus. And, you know, and to catch Pokemon to add to the Pokedex, because, you know, we want to catch all 150, not 151. There's only 150 Pokemon. Exactly. Oh, thank you. And now, now you're feeling weird, too. This place is kind of creeping me out. I don't know why this girl is here, and she said something about Dose. She was number two. Do dose is two. I'm confused. Every th There's a lot of meaning here. A lot of things mean things. We haven't figured it out yet. A lot of clues. Context. Oh my god. Yes! Come on! Join the team! We have all the electrical Pokemon already, right? Wait, do we? Magneton's data will be added to the Pokedex. Generates strange radio signals. It raises the temperature by 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit within 330 feet. So it's like a microwave emitter? Interesting. Okay, now we gotta investigate this. Any money bet, this is an electrode. Boom! No! <laughs> oh my goodness, does it have a, That was like a little boss animation thing. Wait, I gotta fight it? Match time? I wasn't expecting this. No! Oh, thank goodness you're resistant. Alright, get that critical. Get that critical. Come on. Come on. Come on, Brute Root. There's a reason why you're leading the charge on this team. Ooh, what if it uses self-destruct or explosion? Does that allow me to catch it? I kind of find it funny Electrode is a uh, mini-boss Pokemon here. Now's your chance! Catch it! Alright, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll use a Raspberry on this on this bad boy. Oh my goodness, I curved it. 
Ooh, that would have been nasty. Electrode, join the winning team. That's us. Oh my goodness, he didn't like my jingle. I hated it too, don't worry. I don't sing. I hate singing. Come on! Come on! We got Electabuzz. We got Magneton. We got Ruby. We got Muck. Yeah, I don't want Muck either. Actually. We don't have a Jolteon yet. That's someone that we don't got. But I like Jolteon. Jolteon's my favorite of the evolution. Okay, you ran away over here instead! <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty funny. Wait, now was there something special about the other one? I don't think we could ask for another time travel sequence. I, I caught it midair, very nice. I think I think we, we lost our one time travel, uh Don't make me don't make me break out the Ultra Bowl, man. My gut is telling me with the familiarity of this power plant scenario that I need to save them. Oh, come on! Dude. I, 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 I moved my hand to the right and that Pokeball went left. Guys, I don't... I wasn't... You know what? I can't. This is all my fault. I said I wanted to catch more Pokemon and, and complete the Pokedex, and I came very unprepared. I bought clothing items instead of Pokemon Pokeballs to catch things, so we know where my priorities are at. And thank you, Electrode, for joining the winning team. I appreciate it. Stores electrical energy inside its body. Even if the slightest shock could trigger, even the slightest shock could trigger a huge explosion. I'm exhausted. This has been a lot of catching. What's that? Another Electabuzz. Everything is shocking, guys. Oh, cool. A Thunderstone. I don't know who we're going to use that for, though. <gasps> that Grimer's going to uh, box us in. Oh, my God. Ah! All right, that's definitely another electrode. We're gonna leave you be for now. All right, I wanna, you know, work on the computer things here, but... Whoa, what was that? That was crazy. Those are broken, right? Interesting. All right, that's another electrode. Paralyze heal. Something is telling me I'm gonna need that. All right, that's a big generator room and is very... How do I get to that room down there? Ah! Oh, Vix, I'm afraid to go in there. It seems it can sense some powerful source of electricity. Why, oh, you you can do that too now? Is it because you got like, like, like three little antennas on your head? On your head, head. What's that shadow? Oh my, oh my god. I'm, oh my goodness, what is what is happening? Oh my... Oh my... Oh my god. Um... Hello? What is this power? It's that Rose. Five minutes on level 50. Oh my goodness. Light screen. Zapdos. Ghost! She's the second one! Wait, this is this is the painting. The painting from the president of Silk Code. Oh my goodness. It, this is all, it's all making sense now. Context clues. They felt a powerful electrical source. A source. The girl said, said, um, dose. Meaning two. Zap, dose. Electrical. Number two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Vix, for some reason, felt 
empowered. Extreme. Oh my goodness, Drill Peck is not good. Felt extremely empowered. That is not good. Oh my god, it, it all makes sense. She had the fossil Pokemon, we have the fossil. This thing is related to the wizard, or what the wizard was telling us. Oh, is that tips? If the tips of Zapdos with Z oh, uh, <clears throat> Are the tips of Zapdos's wings indigo? Like a very dark blue. That is very cool. Oh my goodness. Uh, sleep powder, right? Oh no. I'm sorry, my, my brain is just, like, moving too fast for my thoughts to think things or my mouth to say things. Does that make sense? Yo, Indigo, let's go. You're resistant, you're resistant to this stuff. You won't be shocked. Alright, what, what can we do against this? Oh, we could do Poison Jab. Yeah. Oh, that did a lot more than I thought. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Put him up. It, it just makes sense. Vix became extremely powerful in the presence of this legendary bird. I guess that's what we'll call it. Oh my god. Indigo, come on, you can do it. Oh, it's got a sliver of health. Do we have enough Ultra Balls to catch this thing? <gasps> oh! Oh, we did do it! We're in the zone! Your beak is very yellow. Okay, um... Oh, we don't have a golden... I guess we'll use the Silver Raz. Oh, that didn't help. Oh my goodness, that didn't help. Okay. Let's do it! Yes! Good, 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 good! Hello, Zapdos. We're your new friends. Please join us. Oh, yes! <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> Insane. Submission. Yeah, sure, sure. We'll do that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Oh, my goodness. I would, honestly, I was expecting this to be like a 20 minute long catching thing. I think we just got lucky here, in all honesty. Oh my goodness. This legendary bird! Oh, we were right, clearly. Pokemon is said to appear when the sky turns dark and lightning showers down. Oh my. You tuck Zapdos away in the Pokemon box. Holy smokes, Ruby! Did you see that? Ruby is staring at the Pokeball with intense joy. Dude, we caught our first legendary Pokemon. This is amazing. I'm so glad you told us to come back here. We have so many more electrical friends now. Here you go. Oh, I should have fed you a banana. We, we need these raspberries. We're very, very low. Yo, you guys are crazy, Vix. Seems very pleased. Thank you! <laughs> Everyone's very happy that we caught Zapdos. Oh, okay, this place is like melting down, by the way, so I think we should really get out of here. It seems pretty dangerous. Oh, the teleportation pad! Okay, well... I think I think that's it! I don't, I don't feel like there's anything more to do here. We kinda... We literally caught everything! Oh wow, Cyberduck, were you plugged into here too? Yeah, bursting with energy is an understatement. Holy smokes guys, I am in disbelief. So, I got a funny story too, to end this episode uh, with. Uh, basically, when I played Yellow Version when I was younger, um, Zapdos was the first legendary bird that I found. Um, I used to do, I used to go to karate class and one of the kids, um, he endgamed, um, yellow, red, red, yellow, or blue, and he had all the legendary birds in Mewtwo and I remember seeing them and I think that was the first time I learned about them besides like the cards or whatever you see. It's the first time I saw them in the video game and 
I thought it was really cool. So he told me where to find each of them. Because I actually didn't find them on my own. He told me where to find them. Uh, and I never actually beat the Elite Four in Yellow version. I was like, what, seven or eight years old? So, and I didn't really pick up on the games that well. And I also did that thing where I only trained one Pokemon. I only trained um, my Pikachu at the time. And I had Charizard, Venus, and Blastoise. But they were literally all at the level that you evolve them at. Um, so, and then also the catching mechanic was a little bit different in those games too, because the Pokeball could just straight up miss if you weren't going to catch it. Um, a little weird, I'm not going to get into the explaining of that. But, the thing with Zapdos is that, Zapdos was the first one that I fought, and I remember being told, you know, save your game before you fight them, because you only have one chance. So at least I knew that, or that was told to me. And I remember doing it over and over and over again, and I think I even had Ultra Balls on me at the time, but I was just never able to catch it. And it got to the point where I think I even left, right? I left, and then I came back to try to do it again. And it got to the point where I actually, like, gave up. And it's funny, the way I, I, I phrase it in my head is like, I wasn't worthy enough to catch it at that time. <laughs> like, eight-year-old me was not worthy enough of catching, catching Zapdos. So I actually beat it, and I saved the game afterward. Uh, and it's interesting because, you know, uh, moving on to silver, uh, gold, silver, and crystal version, with silver being the first game for me to beat, technically, with um, beating the Elite Four. And I say completed, I didn't catch all the guys, but I saw every Pokemon besides Celebi and Mew. Uh, and that's the game that I went back into yellow version after I, I beat it. And I think. Because I still had Moltres and Articuno left. I think I left off on Zapdos. The last two I had left were Moltres and Articuno. And I did the same thing with Moltres where I just couldn't catch it. And gave up and saved the game over it. Because, you know, I just couldn't do it. And then there was Articuno. And Articuno, I believe I caught in the first time I was able to... Um, I encountered it. And it was really cool. And that's kind of... It was, it's interesting because Articuno and Zapdos, like... I don't think I have a favorite legendary bird. Like, I like Articuno and Zapdos equally. Uh, Articuno because I think it was the first one that I caught legit, you know, legitly. I felt like I actually earned that, you know, eight, nine-year-old me, seven, whatever. Uh, and Zapdos was always kind of my favorite because I kind of always gravitated to electrical Pokemon for some reason. I kind of like them. Uh, and they, they're just equal to me. Like, I can't choose just one. Um, I, I think I, it, it's weird. It's like it, it comes and goes. Like, I like Zapdos more sometimes, but then I like Articuno more. And I like them equally. Moltres, though, don't get me started on Moltres. I think Ho-Oh is a much better uh, Phoenix-type uh, Pokemon than uh, Moltres. still got a cool design, not gonna lie. And out of the, what is it, the Galarian forms? Moltres is the best, hands down. It's amazing design they did. They all look good, but Moltres is, ooh, fantastic. Anyway, guys, amazing, amazing job. We caught a legendary Pokemon today, thanks to a lot of hard teamwork and everyone's help. Uh, and yeah, we're going to uh, continue to round out this Pokedex and stuff. Um, but yes, I think uh, Cinnabar Island is definitely calling, and um, you're proven to be uh, one tough cookie, Vix, that's for sure. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.